Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Game Orb, and today we are going to be playing Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now, aside from a little bit from the fourth PC game, this is the only Harry Potter game I played on any platform. So, it's not going to be a bias. With that said, I did take a look at some videos of all the other Harry Potter games, and this one seems to be the most... And I mean, I don't know the, the most, but like, okay, let me phrase that. It seems to be one that's not really like the others, because I guess in part... <coughs> well, not even graphical-wise, because those are naturally the improvements, but... In terms of, like, collectibles and, like, how the game's played and look or something... I'm just so used to this one that I... That I thought that all the other games would be kind of something like this, but, you know, with their different systems, and it's not exactly the case. Um... Unfortunately, uh, I, I was doing a lot of testing before I'm officially recording this, and for some reason, unlike the first PC game I did, which was the SpongeBob Krabby Patty Operation thing, um, the frame rate on this one seems to be really not as well. Like, it can't even do 30 frames per second, and it drops a lot. Especially during the cutscenes, even when I'm walking around, it's like very delayed, and that's not ideally what I want. I mean, obviously, if you probably get a, fig a, a figure out by it anyway, even the frame it's not smooth. Um, I don't know if it's the video editing software because the laptop I'm recording on isn't a weak one. I would say it's average. It's not super powerful, I, I think, compared to your like average PC. But you know, it's it's relatively new. I mean. Before, I mean, because I did look at the uh, stats before buying this last up a year ago, and it seems to go well, so... And it's definitely not really take up any CPU memory. I mean, probably even less than my, uh... The, the, I guess this is I'm used to play on this one, which was an older one, but... You know, I can't really explain for that. So, um... I find me it's going to be unfortunate. The resolution is okay. I mean, I fixed it to match the game's resolution, so that's should be an issue. Um, yeah, the frame rate is going to be noticeable. Uh, I don't think I really have much of the problem with the sponge rubber one, but this is going to be really noticeable. Um, I don't think I can contradict myself. I don't know. And in case to sum up, explain again, the frame rate is unfortunate. However, when I did go back to look at the sound, I realized that the sound's not the best either. Is it? Because I'm looking at the game's audio settings, it's like when it recorded from the audio, the microphone from uh, or wherever the audio comes out from this laptop, or like the system audio, which I don't think is quite the same thing. Which would mean I don't think it would be just be my voice just recording it. But I do want to have commentary for the whole thing because you know if I just look a game of just this video of on YouTube, not only that has been done before without any audio, but it wouldn't really give any benefits, so I figure if I dealt with my voice and me talking about, you know, experiences and whatnot, <coughs> excuse me, I figure it better. Um, because this game's only three years older than the SpongeBob ones, even though it is a big gra graphical difference. So, um, of course, completely different uh, developer and publisher. So, I really can't do anything much about that. Um, now the music's starting to get up there. But you know, uh, even the frame's gonna be unfortunate, hopefully you're able to join my journey with me going through this game. Hopefully this won't happen to other games in mind, because there are still quite a few games I do want to do with recording the PC. Cause, and it's not really any newer games in the last several years. So, I mean, they're all, they're mostly within, bef most of the games are between the year, like, 2000 and, like, 2010. So they don't need, like, a really high power PC, I would imagine. Of course, I don't know how, what the recording process was like for, like, a game, like, 15 years ago or so. So anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's get ahead. Now, there's just the beginning of the save game here, because all the times I tried to test the different settings and resolutions... So we're just going to overwrite that, and we're just, I'm just going to rewatch the cutscene I've been watching. So for all the tests I'm done. Um, okay, let's go. Says he, the serious black has escaped from the whistle. 
Prison Prison Azkaban. No one's ever broken out before. Twelve years ago, Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Well, at least we'll be safe at Hogwarts. What's wrong, Harry? What's wrong? I overheard your dad talking about Sirius Black last night. The Ministry of Magic thinks he's after me. Black's escaped to come after you. Oh, Harry, you'll have to be really, really careful. Don't go looking for trouble. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. But they'll catch him, won't they? I mean, they've got all the muggles looking out for him, too. Scabbers, come back! How do you keep that monster under control? Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake Professor Lupin. Don't worry, Rob. We'll have to find Scabbers. Oh, brilliant. Scabbers could have gone anywhere. That cat of yours is a menace, Hermione. That door's locked. Mm, yeah, I can't go up. Yeah, so if, when I'm playing the game, you know, so my resolution is fine. I mean, I don't know what the actual resolution of this game is, um, but it definitely feels a little bit higher than 30 frames per second. Although, hey, I feel like I save a higher mode. And, you know, when I looked at it at 60 frames per second, when saving after the editing it, um, just very fast, um, I didn't really edit, I just saved it when I'm, I guess, converting or something. It did look a little worse. Because right now it's pretty smooth, but you know, when I look back on the recording, it's, it's you know. That door's locked. It's what it is. Um. I keep looking for that rat if I were you, Harry. I want Crookshanks to find it first. Hi, Harry. I think I just saw Ron's bat run down the corridor. What they want to say. Oi, Goyle. Look who's here. Draco's looking for you. I think he's got you a nice surprise. Oh. Yeah, I do remember all, all the different events. Crookshanks yeah. doesn't understand that it's wrong to chase scabbers. I heard the rumor about Sirius Black Harry. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll catch him soon. I guess I this. The background is theoretically on a loop. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll I mean, soon. it's probably on a loop in the landscape. Good luck finding scabbers, Harry. That means this train's in stuck position forever. Hello, Harry. Hello, Harry. Hi, Harry. I think I just saw Ron's rat run down the corridor. Wait, did they just say the same? I keep looking for that rat if I were you, Harry. Wouldn't want Crookshanks to find it first. Wait. Better hurry off that rat, Harry. Hmm, well, maybe they're twins, they look the same. <laughs> oh, I'm coughing so much. <laughs> So yeah, so I mean, if you just kind of imagine what the resolution looked like if you played the game before, uh, you can just pretend that I guess it's a higher frame in your mind or something, or you could buy out and get the game if they still have it uh, anywhere. Probably. Yeah, from time to time, I kind of came with my coworkers about um, saying that what's the point of doing anything you can imagine or something. Obviously, that's a silly way to go about things because obviously the experience is nowhere near the same. 
Oh well. I mean, from, I guess from a little literal point of view, but you know, I said probably not the best fight to live because experiences aren't the same as just imagining them. Right? Even having the memory of the experience is better than having what kind of just imagining of kind of like a fake memory. I suppose we'll have to push this thing out of the way. Or one of us could cast a pulse. <laughs> Although dreams sometimes, you know, because you tend to forget them not too long after you wake up or something from like a dream or a nightmare, I guess. And I guess that's theoretically a thick memory, or it is a thick memory, because that's something you definitely have not experienced. Although sometimes it does feel real. Yeah, I remember getting all these collectibles. Ugh. Such nostalgia indeed. Although, because it is nostalgia, you know, if I just play the game, like, today, like, for the first time, like, would I even do it? I mean, probably not. I don't remember how I even got this game as a kid, as a PC. I wasn't a big Harry Potter fan, but, you know, I've always liked it. I've only seen the first three movies, I think, and probably the first one the most. You know, there's a... I haven't seen much of Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Matrix, and... About to the future. Yeah, there's a lot of like well known movies I haven't seen that I probably shouldn't see from now. Yeah, I'm really not sure why I haven't seen it by now. Hopefully, it's not like an intro because. I, I don't know. <laughs> Thank goodness. If we walk into this safe book, it'll store our adventures up to this point. I don't know if this game was programmed before they made the third movie, or what the production line was it was, because the character models are obviously not what they look like in real life for the third movie. In fact, honestly, look more closer to the first and second films. You know, age-wise anyway. And obviously it's really noticeable um, for the fourth game. PC, which I only played a little bit of a while back, but uh, that's it. I'll be more. Things. It's a gargoyle, of course. Cast Lumos at it, Rod, and a secret area will light up. Lumos! <laughs> it feels so because I played this game probably last time over five years ago. I don't know how now. Maybe three years after that. And, um, or wait, wait, actually before that, technically. Um. This is where the Pixies come out? Yes. Oh, not the Pixies, the books. Oh no, I think the fi Pixies first appear at that, um, Dumbledore's house or something? Or no, not Dumbledore, uh... Oh, what's his name? Hagrid. Yeah, I think around there. I lost anything. Yeah, maybe I didn't realize. I'm blocking that. I just thought there was more coming out. I'm not 
not so sure about this carriage. What's in those cages? Definitely not. Oh, spider. Oh, the large spider, I guess. That's nice. Sometimes you just gotta go over just in case you feel like you're always missing something. Alright, she can't go back. I guess this is where a uh, Draco now float comes in, I believe. Change in expression. So they put you in the creature's carriage, did they? Probably the only place you could find a friend. Actually, I do have a rather interesting friend. Everyone, play nice now. Oh no! What's that monstrous-looking book? Actually, I believe it's a copy of the Monster Book of Monsters. Cast of the page. Yeah, because why not have a copy of a monster? Makes Oh yeah, there might actually might be one more uh, card in here with, with that um, mentor coming in. Scabbers! You've given us a lot of trouble, useless rat. Come on, let's get back to our compartment before we're missed. Or is it a rat? Oh, well, obviously, yeah, I probably friends for now this, but is it just a rat? Yeah. It is, right? No. Is it? I guess you'll figure out if you don't know. That didn't seem very synchronized. I don't want to see what happens if I just wait. Of course, it's all the same thing, even if I wait a few seconds. Oh. All this piece, piece is just magically vanish. God, was his face scratched like that in the in the film? I don't remember. Yeah, 
Now I think we go right into Ron's uh, solo event here first. Harry's encounter with the Dementor had caused him no serious harm, other than a growing feeling of dread. The three friends hurried to their first class of the term, anxious to resume their lessons. I'm Professor Lupin, your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Our first lesson involves the spell Carpe Retractor. Ron Weasley, would you please join me? Um, me? Are you sure? Uh, Hermione's loads better at spells. You'll do fine. Just step through this door to begin. Of course, it's nothing like that in the film or the book. <laughs> Random door don't come out today in the class? Just him alone? Hello? P Professor Lupin? Welcome to the Carpe Retractum Challenge, Rob. There are ten challenge shields scattered throughout the challenge. Some are well hidden. Find all ten shields to earn a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. If you don't find all the shields your first time through, you can always come back. Complete the challenge by collecting the final shield. Let's get started. Carpe Retractum has two primary uses. To pull yourself towards something, or to pull something towards you. See if you can find a statue to cast the spell at. Then, watch what happens. Yeah, I think I'm. I think for this recording, I'll stop when I'm done with the uh, this one, and after, of course, the beam bonus room. Because I don't think I'm gonna miss any of the skits. Although I feel like I've done that before. I'm coming on the first level. Oh, that would be a cool, cool uh, commercial. Depulso, just like. Randomly. Excellent. You can also use Carpe Retractum to pull certain levers. See if you can find one on a wall and try it out. Yeah, like I always check the corners, just like in uh, <laughs> in that Splatoon, a single player stage is one. I feel like those uh. No, it doesn't seem to be anything here. You know, if this is in real life, all these uh, stages for these uh, levels and the castle must be enormous. Enormous, humongous, enormous. I'll think that's our. Now, leap onto the tile to spring into the air. Remember, I'm just waiting till he finishes. Uh, Carpe Retractor can also be used to pull things towards you. See if you can find something to cast at, then climb up onto it. I did, um, I did go on that Harry Potter ride at Universal Studios in Florida. Uh, I think that might have been 2011, as I remember. So it's been a while ago. I don't haven't been to Florida since 2012. As we know, it's not cheap to go to those places. I mean, I guess I mean there are ways to do it. I guess cheaper, cheaper ways to do it than others, but you know, still a lot of money. I'm so sorry about that. My bad. You can jump over pits like this one, Ron. Hold down the forward arrow key to run towards it. When you get to the edge, continue holding the arrow key and press the right mouse button to jump. I swear how the sun glow kind of seems like there's something... Like some type of invisible glass. I guess that's the way they made it. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. I don't remember getting over there. Hmm. I don't know where those came from. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Oh, I can reach it from there. But I'm not going to. Well, it sounds like the pulse is also, you know, like a food item besides a commercial. It sounds like you're, like, gonna get sick or something. Like, throwing up, like, saying th to pulse as you throw up. Like, I can imagine that. Maybe some type of commie bit. <laughs> Who knows what I'm ranting about? Let's see. And the roof fell in. Oh boy, he does look cowardly the way that he was designed. He was designed. Let's see. Yeah, they have the pixies. Minus their, you know, hands and such. So, okay, so that- I was wondering what that lock meant, so there's four more secrets, I guess, of course. You know, loose term on secrets, I guess. Let's look at the achievements list. I don't think you need all 80 cards to pass, but I could be wrong on that, as I remember. Well, I guess it's kind of secret. I mean, if you didn't know to aim at the... Okay, what's that second one? The Vampire. Let's see... Wow. Wait, how long did he live for? Oh, he lived for a while. Especially in that year. That seems hard to believe. So this guy was just like... My myth By undead students. Hmm. Afraid of Pong Woman. A Harry Potter game? I guess I can say that. <laughs> that sounds pretty t oh no. Okay, that's the first pixie. Carpe retractum can also or, be used on certain ropes. Or no. Give it a go. I mean that's the room over there. I think that's not technically a bottomless pit. I think there's a. This looks like that way. Yeah, that's not gonna. Okay. Oh, shoot. Looks like it's pretty generous on the amount of health. Well, stamina, I guess. There we go. And some of the stumps you just have to go right at the edge if you can. Make sure I have everything. Obviously, I don't want to go through this again. Not that we could play too much. I 
I mean, sound effects are really pretty good. I mean, I don't know if that capture card's going... Not that capture card. I mean, the screen recorder's going to ca capture that, but... Oh, well. Professor Lupin? That thing doesn't look very friendly. That is an impron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spells may not be effective in this situation. Try not to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. It's for some Go reason... Ahead. See if you can pick up a wizard cracker and throw it back at the imp. For some reason, I kept thinking of, like, actual crackers. Oops. Your training to the test. To the test? Let's freeze this and me. Oh no, I'm gonna wait till the new one's thrown. Splendid, Rock. Oh, right! Pumpkin pasties! These are worth a lot more than beans. Before I do that. Because I think that's gonna automatically close. Those beans up. There we go. Yeah, I think that goes away if I don't do it automatically. There's nothing up there. Yeah, that's what I thought. At least one double chuck. Now, okay, now, now it's where it is. That noise isn't what I think it is. Let's turn those, like, balls of, like, electricity or something. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's more of them. Sounds like saying with with December, December with December, December with December, or someone's name, I guess. They're probably worth more because uh, there are so it might be a third one, I think. With beans, I think. No, just chocolate frogs. Hmm. We might have some chocolate now, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, crackers they mentioned in chocolate. Ugh. This game's gonna make me hungry. That's gonna close, I believe. So, just one more check. I don't know, it could be behind some portraits. I mean, I know it might seem very silly, but hey, if you haven't played this game before, you may not know what's what the first time. Looks like I'll get to a hundred. Not that a hundred really means anything. I forgot if there's a max amount of things you can have. I don't think so. I mean, assume it has to be in the thousands, like at least. I don't remember. Is it higher than that? Is there even that many? I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Not too sure about this. 
Wait, how many, uh... Oh, oh man. I feel like I've done that once before I exit out accidentally, and... I made a mistake on that. So obviously, I'm assuming the next sequence over there. There we go. Well, sometimes I don't know. I may not be able to tell, like from distance, like if what's considered a secret or not. <laughs> hmm. Oh wow! Found three of the eighty cards already. Um. Flamboy American Vampire. Author of A Vampire's Monologue, intended to bore the reader into a stupor, making him or her a stupor. No idea what that means. And I could tell if he was like anime and not just a. or if a real life character it wasn't just a 2D picture. Keep doing that. Cauldron cakes? What the heck would a cauldron take it taste like? Carpe Retractor, which sounds like Retractor. Carpe Tractor. Carpe Retractor. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I think there's usually like a loading point like um, halfway toward the beginning. But I think by that time you should have like half of the... Whatchamacallit, what are they called? The uh... Challenge shields, yeah. Now for the beam bonus run at the end, this is just a bottom pit, right? Whoa! Yeah. Did that freeze? No drop. Whoa! Ah, I just froze there for a second. Oh. That wasn't gonna make that. Wait, I didn't forget anything, did I? I did these already. I don't know why they let me go back. Although, I guess in some cases that might be impossible anyway. Wait, did that open up or was that always there? Wow, another one already? Maybe there's just a lot in the beginning. Or a good amount of them are these types of levels. Undead students. Oh wait, no, that's... Count Vlad Dracul. 1392 unknown. Notorious vampire. Who Interesting. Inspired the fictional Count Dracula created by Bram Stoker. Father of Vlad I feel like Count Dracula was something that's before 1319 that sounds like so long ago. Oh, man, I keep doing that. <laughs> I say it every time. 
Let's see, uh... Yeah, there's nothing there. That just... Does nothing. Yeah, there's nothing there. Oh, the crabs. Backside. Cast Rick to Sempra to knock it over. Because why not? Again, as needed to knock the fire crab into the trap. Rick to Sempra. Rick to Sempra. Rick to Sempra. Rick to Sempra. No more should do it. Well, I mean, it's out, and it's the only way. Is this just bottomless? Wait. Where did the crab go? Hmm. Should made it bigger. I think... Yeah. Oh! December. I think something gets lower. I don't know. I think I'm missing something, though. No, I guess not. Nothing seems else to be pointed at. This will force the edge. I'm slightly falling off. Of course. I mean, you gonna have to get a lot fall by north. It's really making you start. Of course, if the chocolate folks appear like that, it's, I guess it's not much of a challenge. Of course, this game wasn't meant to be the world's challenge this game. Challengest, 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 oh please, <laughs> I don't think that's the word. The world's most hardest game is probably better. And then, halfway done. I mean, I don't think you have to get all the challenge shields, but... At least I think that- I thought- I thought the halfway point was here. Oh, it just disappears. Because obviously that's the bottom. Retractor. I yelled out wizard spells. That'd be funny. Okay. Oh. Maybe, okay, maybe I'm getting six on the halfway point. Not your turn.
And finally your turn. It's freezing marks. I don't know why it does it. The heck <laughs> what is that about? Careful. I'm going to go back. Oh, so maybe this six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. I think the big one at the end is. So maybe a six in the first. Well, not first half, but. I don't know if it's exactly at the 50, but the second one. Oh. Oh, there we go. Just that inch, like, a, a centimeter forward. With December. Well, it's more with December, yeah. Here we go. I, like, push you in? Nope. Oh, I guess I... Wait, let me see that. Oh, okay, down here. I thought something was wrong. Huh, where did that, uh, thing go? I can easily see these people as being like presents of like the wizard or something. That's a pretty interesting. Uh, that one? Oh, well. Wow. Let's see, where am I going? Retractors. Of course, I shot them. Shot miss this one. Uh, I'm just like used to the freezing thing already. Is it just that one? Yeah. I guess I think there's two more times. Yeah, it's on the left side. Come on. Go up the stairs. Hmm. 
Oh, it's the same collector's edition. Not collector's edition, but... Let's see who it is now. Uh, where are you? Lady Carmilla Sanguina, 1561 to 1757. Bathed in the blood of her victims to retain her youthful beauty. Yeah, I mean, how else would she live over close to 200 years? I think this is number eight. Okay, so two more. Although the one at the end is always the one at the end, so I guess theoretically one more. Fine. It's not an obvious sight. I feel, like, I feel like sometimes you walk too fast in the save one, like it'll delay it once it's done saving. But even though it's a save book, I tend to finish the level, like even if I'm not recording, just to wait for it to be over. Wait, nothing else I missed. No, okay. Nope. I just feel like they pick their nose sometimes before you get it. Scratching their butts. Is it always there? I mean, at least then you get get in. I forget if hit a few times. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, oh. Now this is opening something more. Wait then. Oh, okay. Okay now, okay, now I know how it's going to be done. I hope, because I can't go back there. Or... See, that could be... Pretty well hidden. I guess that closes as I jump on it. Yeah. Okay, well that's all of them. Aside from the last one, but that's never high, that's just the last one. Okay, last room. As I remember. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go this way first. Not this way, but.
Wait, it is there, right? Because I don't see it. I just see the effects of it from a distance. Oh, there we go. So what does this one do? Yeah, I think if you're close enough, you can see it there. But... Yeah, I thought there was one... Oh, those are just those. I can't leave. Okay. All ten collected. Well done, Rob. And you found all ten challenge sheets. Which, which means, means the bean bonus room. The bean bonus. <sighs> so I don't really have a strategy for this. I just go this get is the bean bonus room. always have enough to buy anything. Just I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a complete waste of time that is. It's probably better if I have a mouse instead of the keyboard and keypad. Oh jeez, fine. Ah, oh, they come in much, much better. That was fantastic. I think that one doesn't have the pumpkins oh. or the, the cake thingies. No kidding. Yeah, I think that goes into it. Like... Look, I think we've 
people out in the side chamber. I've heard about this room. These portraits provide shortcuts to every floor in the castle. I wonder how we can get the password. Harry Potter, just the person I was looking for. Hello, Fred. Where's George? Upstairs, minding the shop. Early Christmas present for you, Harry. It's the Marauder's Map. It'll help you find your way around Hogwarts. Wow! Thanks, Fred. You can press the tab key on your keyboard to bring up this map. I wonder if he can only get the map as a present. Come on, follow me upstairs. I'll lead you to the shop. Uh. There we go. I'm sure I you can survive some time. Does this work again? Oh, it does. Huh. I wonder if that ha happens every time we leave the area so you don't run out of beans. Oh, I can? Or maybe I didn't do it all the way enough before? I don't know. Yeah, that's Harry Potter's, this is Hermione's, and this is Professor Ron's. Um, wait, I can? Don't tell me this works too now. Hmm. That's weird. It looks like it's locked. Is it usually the first floor? Locked, I'm afraid. More than works. Is it seven? I call them a lot. I'm gonna save right now. Okay, I think that's enough for the first part. Uh, don't know how much of this of the second part, but I will do it at some point. So thanks for watching. That's zero. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, leave a comment. Um, and go dislike it. I don't recommend it, because I wouldn't like that. <laughs> well, I won't complain too much. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, check out the other videos if you haven't done so. A Splatoon, the Spongebob, Mary Kart 8, the Tricky Tube one, and there'll be more to come. So, until uh, next time, uh, I guess if you see Harry Potter somewhere, uh, don't Try to have a wand fight with him if you don't have a wand. Uh, I guess that could have been worthy better. Uh, okay. Uh, until next time. Adios.